Hi there, let's see how we can create a level of detail setup in Bifrost and also create custom marking menus to switch inputs in the viewport. This was something I saw in a recent Autodesk presentation by Sean Williams and I tried to recreate it myself. So I have a simple scene with a few trees and if I shift right click on the Bifrost output I get a custom marking menu that enables me to switch between the preview and render geo. This is just a viewport display, in the render it will always load the final mesh. As you can see I have this LOD switch compound and a simple input node with the port or attribute level of detail, where I can switch the different meshes. In the LOD switch I also have a render and proxy inputs where I can connect the render and proxy geo. And here is the switch compound, very few nodes, where I just create a simple switch. Basically, if the level of detail is equal to 0, load the render mesh. If 1, load the proxy geo. Now, in order to create that custom marking menus, we need to copy uh, two files from this Maya folder and paste them in the document scripts, so we don't override the original ones. After copying the first file, here you just need to add another if statement and assign a custom context created in a second file. Then you will need to duplicate one of the context files, in this case I picked the NURBS curves. As you can see, here is where the marking menus items are created and we just need to create items for our custom menu. So after duplicating the NURBS context file, rename it to the Bifrost context. In this file we just need to keep the shape from transform function, edit the isNURBS curve to check if it's instead a Bifrost shape. In the last function, also edited from the NURBS file, you just need to keep the selection variable and if it's, and if it's a Bifrost object, we want to call the function where we create the menu items for the marking menu. Which is the next and last part, as I am not very familiar with MEL, I am instead using an external Python file. In the Python file I am using a class to create the menu items and respective commands. The building marking menu just creates the items, in this case two, one for the proxy and other for the render. Also creating radio buttons to have visual feedback on which LOD is selected. The LOD function checks the current level of detail and assigns a value so we can update the checkbox values at the creation of the marking menu. Finally, we have the functions that set the level of detail attribute. And at the end, save the files to one of your Maya document scripts folder. Let's quickly have a look at the Bifrost graph so I can share a few tips that I learned. The render geometry is actually an S file. One, because it is the only way I found to render multiple materials in merged meshes. And the second is that translates really fast to Arnold as it's already an Arnold scene. In the preview geo I am loading the final model so I can show it in the viewport if I need to. Below I have a duplicate, but this time feeding the proxy mesh. Finally, just connect the outputs to the render and proxy of the switch. Connect each switch to the instance geometry so we can have different trees. Finally, I have only a simple scatter setup with some randomization. And this is just a render I did for the scene, as you can see it's uh, rendering the correct geometry, even though I have the proxy in the viewport. This can be easily done with the Create Instances Preview Geo, but I wanted to show the specific setup where you can have some interaction in the viewport. Hopefully you picked up a few tips, even if you're not going to use this workflow. Thanks, bye bye.